Beams of light spotted across Colorado lately really get the imagination flowing. Futuristic transporter, maybe? Beam me up, Mr. Spark. Or some kind of alien communication. No, they're actually a weather phenomenon called light pillars. It's light getting reflected by millions of tiny ice crystals floating gently through the air. And the atmospheric conditions must be just right for this to happen. Because the ice crystals need to be shaped like hexagonal plates, perfect little mirrors. So the temperature needs to be below 12 degrees with just the right amount of moisture in the air. Too much moisture could cause branches called dendrites to form on the crystals. And if it's too dry, which is usually the case with extremely cold air, then you get no crystals at all. Those little hexagons also need to be facing flat side down and drift through the air slowly, without tumbling or running into each other. So the winds have to be very calm. If these perfect weather conditions develop, light pillars will fill the night sky. But perhaps adding to their intrigue, they're also optical illusions, meaning they're really not even physically there. The reflection from those ice crystals just creates the illusion that there's a physical beam of light extending up from a source, when it's actually light reflecting down from the ice crystals, which can be somewhere between the source light and the observer. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Well, as you can see, they're cool to see. They can sometimes even be more vivid with the right type of lighting because the light pillars themselves, as Corey was kind of detailing there, they take on the same colors as the actual source lights. I know you see people try to rec recreate that. <clears throat> yeah. I cannot get rid of this tickle in my throat. No, you should take the weekend off. I, I'm going to. But look at that. Yes, they're like pillars of light. Pillars of light. I wonder where they get the name from. And we never see that. I mean, that is awesome. No wonder people have been transfixed.